welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we are coming to you from San Jose today, and on our program is Sunil Charian, who is the VP of Product Marketing at Array Networks. Sunil, hi. Hi, Rich. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, uh, could you give the viewers a quick overview of your company? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Sure. Our pleasure. Yeah. Uh, Array Networks is in the business of delivering applications securely to users anywhere, anytime. And we started off 10 years back with uh, next generation of load balancing devices for web applications to make sure the applications are available 25 by 7 and make sure load can be distributed. And our uh, value proposition was that we can do it with less servers and we can do it more securely and more efficiently and the users will have a very fast uh, web browsing experience. And that platform that we developed, we went on to add uh, remote access VPN technologies we went on to add uh, remote desktop uh, browsing capabilities that allows you to control your machines from anywhere. And how have you seen the market changing in the last few years? The, we have seen ups and downs. Okay. In the, sure. um, and la last 10 years has been a very interesting. Oh, industry. that's for sure. <laughs> in tech and telecom, I, I can't imagine any yeah. industry has seen what we've seen in the last uh, 10 years. Yeah. And when we started off in 2000, we were in the uh, height of the dot-com boom. We built this technology meant for uh, all these websites. And as soon as we got the technology out there, I think most of the companies that we're targeting went down. Right. And so we regrouped. We used some of the scalability and performance that we got. And we applied uh, some of the encryption SSL processing capabilities into the VPN space. And we built a business going after large enterprises, providing uh, uh, access to their networks from anywhere. And uh, our uh, devices, the SSL VPN devices that we built, we could scale up to 64,000 concurrent users, and we could support large enterprises or small enterprises. So we had a very scalable uh, architecture. And then we were able to expand the business overseas. We went on to become a market share leader in China and Japan and Asia, and we were able to uh, get an IPO done uh, recently, uh, and so uh, company is in a good position. Uh, we have moved up and down with the uh, uh, vagaries of the economy, and uh, we are here standing and looking forward to support an even larger customer base. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, I uh, had a chance to uh, do a really quick, it was probably one of the fastest demos I've ever done. You had an iPad app that we just rapidly download it. You want to talk about that briefly? Uh, yeah, I, the uh, one of the uh, innovations that we have is this product called Desktop Direct. The concept behind Desktop Direct is most of the users who are using VPNs or other remote access technologies, usually uh, they are given laptops. They work from home. Sure. They download a VPN client and then they work from. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it works through firewalls, right? And uh, the 10 to 15, maybe 20 percent of people who are salespeople, executives, they're ideal for them. But some issues with it is uh, over 12,000 laptops are lost or stolen in U.S. airports every single week. The cost to support a laptop uh, as compared to a desktop that stays in the office or laptop that stays in the office, it's $3,400 to support a device in the office. It's 7012 to support a device that leaves the office every year. So uh, we said there must be a better way because 80% of the people who work in the office 8 to 5 or 9 to 6, and they really don't uh, want to deal with technology. Right. They just want to do their work. Sure. The simplest way to put, give them access to uh, their work environment is to put them on their office desktop. Sure. So we leveraged uh, some of the remote access technologies, and we built it such that you log into a browser, use your, every, use your everyday credentials, two-factor authentication or username password, and it gives you a portal. Portal gives you an icon that shows the desktops that are registered to you. You click on it. If the machine is powered down, we can turn it on remotely for you. So if somebody works 40 hours in the office and potentially works maybe 10 hours outside the office, just keeping that machine on uh, for 50 hours instead of 24 by 7, that saves over 70 percent in power consumption alone. And when you uh, look at the ability to work from remote uh, without learning anything new, the productivity factor is much higher. Sure. Yes. 
that is the value proposition. So, there is remote access combined with uh, tremendous power savings per device and the boot time is, is can be what 60, 90 seconds something like that right? At most, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and we, we saw that we saw you had three machines mm -hmm. registered to yourself and yes. then you, you, uh, you went on to one of them and you, you opened up an Excel app and, and uh, or Excel and. PowerPoint. And sure. And these are applications that are not available for iPad. And when a developer develops something for iPad, usually it's a limited version of what's available. This gives you access to everything that's on a Windows environment. And the data stays in the office. You don't have to worry if my iPad is stolen, I lost 600 bucks, but I don't lose any critical data. Sure. And how does it compare to some of the other uh, alternative uh, remote uh, application? So products? There, are, there are products out there that are service oriented. You buy a service, you pay $20 a month or something per user, sure. right? Yeah. So, for a single user, the services may be educate. For an enterprise, uh, the moment you put 10, 15 users, the monthly bills are supporting it versus the cost of buying a hardware that you own forever and you have it in a network. You control the security, you control the uh, login experience. Uh, it's a very simple value proposition. Sure. And uh, in terms of pricing, how, does, how do you differ? So, the, uh, compared to a service oriented offering, uh, it, it takes about six months of what you pay for a service. Wow. Uh, to, pay, to pay it back? You own this forever. Wow. That's yeah. great. So, yeah. what's next for the company? So, so we built out uh, a fundamental architecture called SpeedCore that allows us to scale and deliver any application from anywhere, whether it is a Windows application or a client server or a web application. And that allows us to provide websites with higher availability. That allows us to provide enterprises with remote access VPN. That allows us to uh, address pretty much all data in transit, data at rest, security, uh, and access. That's fantastic. Well, thanks for being on the program today and sharing uh, your, your information about your company and also uh, showing me that brief demo. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for having me.